Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of The Forgotten City. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. How does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did see human remains in the temple. Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I can't promise anything. Well, thank you for your candor, I suppose. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. I don't like to get off on feet, thanks. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Fair enough. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. Paradox? If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the Golden Rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? Not really. I think so. That's all the questions I had. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the Golden Rule? I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them, if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless of course you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. I'll get started. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. I'll see what I can do. Well, you know, all things considered, I find him to be uh, rational and open-minded. Uh, can't say I expected that. <laughs> oh. There are going to be many temptations for me, I hope. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? You know, if you continue to be rude, I might make a nasty comment about your lazy eye. So let's not do that, shall we? Oh, what a lovely arched eyebrow. I'm not from around here. Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. 
Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? I suppose we're having it because being sarcastic doesn't break the golden rule. Uh, do you know a way out of here? Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Perhaps she dragged me out of the river. Uh, when did you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. She was seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Well, we can assume that uh, extramarital intercourse doesn't break the golden rule, so I'm glad to see that doing unto others is allowed. Uh, why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Your father didn't mention any of this. That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. How much work does preparing for an election take when there are 23 people here? Is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know. But it's been three weeks since she disappeared, and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Only if she is. Um, so we've been told that there are three people missing. That's an interesting detail. Sentius, Sentia, Sentilla. Why are your names all so similar? You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us, like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest, and my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. Cool story. You look surprisingly relaxed. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. I think you know something you're not telling me. Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. I'll take that as a yes. These carrots are purple, as they were before modern carrots were cultivated. I suppose I know that on account of I'm an archaeologist. <laughs> okay, so I guess the existing golden statuaries are, uh, yes, I know that's an incorrect use of statuary. Um, they are probably the people who occupied the city before the current population. If you can even call it a city, 23 people. A ceramic bowl full of urine, which ancient you know, Romans used because of its ammonia content to wash and bleach their clothes. What a brilliant idea. Who would be worried about pissing yourself if you wash your clothes in piss? Citizen. Working hard on your uh, election, I see. And uh, this would be the local legion. Oh, hey. What were you two talking about? Sorry, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. What's he offering you? Money? Favors? What's your vote worth to him? Um, what's it worth to you? A spit of a fauna career. We've lined up all the votes we need already. Mark my, my words, Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you sided with that feeble old has-been, 
that you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? I wasn't thinking of interfering, but now I am. Oh, you just made a big mistake. Maliolus is going to hear all about this, and he'll make you suffer the tortures of Tartarus while you're still alive. Good luck with that. Sturkum Adite. I have a feeling that was rude. Sentius and Maliolus, same excrement, different smell. Yeah. That's politics for you. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? I wasn't, but now I am. Contrary little cap at murder, aren't you? Why shouldn't I go down there? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. He used to go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie, I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed, and it was eating Hannibal. Wouldn't that have broken the golden rule? If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life this was no man. More like a Strix, or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. What did you do? What any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there, and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Some gladiator you are. That was a great story, but I'm still going down there. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. Of course I'm going down there. And if I discover I need a weapon, I think it'll be okay. I'll get another chance. And if it turns out that I do need a weapon... Oh, look at that! It's made of gold. Hmm. It hurts. Yeah, I bet it does. Do you think this is working? I don't think this is working. I better bail. All right. Peeled statues, huh? Wasn't that interesting? What do we got? I saw... Oh. A ceramic ink jar. The ink appears to be made from soot and water. Cool. That doesn't seem like a very good ink, but... What do I know? Why are you whispering in my ears? Note to Octavia. An anonymous friend to Octavia, may the Lord bless and keep you. I'm sorry I could not risk discussing this with you in person, but if I am right, then you're a believer like me. You may not be able to worship or openly here, but know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need somewhere to pray, there is a special place waiting for you deep in the caves behind the theater. Turn right at the first fork, and again at the second. Okay. Isn't that interesting? It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Yeah? The ones that have servants, anyway. Whose house am I in right now? A 
sculpture of Minerva, the Roman goddess of strategy. That helmet holding her hair up looked rather Spartan, although I don't know if that really means much. I wouldn't be surprised to learn that there was a lot of, you know, overlap. Since people tend to learn from technological advances. Okay, well. Name's uh, Rufius. Better watch your step. What's your story? Can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but... Uh, family's from Seleucia on Tigris. Babylon province. But I've been roaming a long time now. We've been joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. How did you end up here? Same way as everyone else. Why are you still wearing your legionary armor? Because we're all in grave danger. Is it not obvious? I don't think your armor is going to help. Why don't you have a weapon? Mm. Magistrate made me toss it in the chasm. Stupid. Going to have to improvise now. How much of a talker are you? If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. What are you dealing with? None of your business. In Troy to hit some come in Shula. Haha, <laughs> you said come. Let's talk about something else. If we have to. Do you know a way out of here? If I did, do you think we'd be having this conversation? What do you think about the Golden Rule? Hmm. I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. I am 100% sure that everyone else here thinks that. What do you mean? I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. Well, we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. You don't know what it is. Therefore, you are not prepared. What do you think is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. I think you're right. Of course I am. Who are you going to vote for? Meliolus. Not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect us? Let's talk about something else. Fine. I'll be going now. Whatever. It is whatever. You can't stop me. You don't even have a weapon. Now, I wonder which of the statues... I can hear you. Are you... Are you Lucretia or whatever? Because, uh, I mean, I guess I should be making my way over there. Can I go swimming? Hmm. Got me some free denarii. What is this about? Don't know. Okay. Can't get up there. Can't interact with the young man or steal his apple. What kind of game is this? I bet they won't let me pet the dog either. If I was actually an archaeologist, I would be able to recognize the Temple of Apollo so that I could get there.
I think... Goose eggs laid by the city's goose. Go ahead and leave those. All right. Now if I want to, I find somebody who's amenable to a roll in the hay, I know where to take them. I wonder... I mean, it seems like at least some of these people were moved around. I wonder how many of them. You can't move. Are all of the statues talking to me, or is there just one that I need to find and talk to? Are these the caves behind the temple? I don't think so. Possibly the last bottle of wine in the city. Don't mind if I do. I guess they should have been growing some va some grapes in there, huh? Hmm. Seeking shelter, perhaps? dice tower designed to stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Clearly cheating must be a problem among Romans. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody who gambles wants to try and cheat at gambling. Theophilus had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. Good for you, buddy. Vote for Maliolus for a free drink at my tavern. Mm. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. Some folks are always a bit of looking for a bit of strange. And you're as charming as you are beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? I'll try and remember that next time. You came on to me. <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least <laughs> do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? I got a smooth talker achievement. What's your story? Ugh. Let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Do you know a way out of here? You know, normally I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. See, now you're being flirty again. That's cute, but seriously, do you know a way out? Straight to business, huh? I can work with that. As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but... This is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Tell me more about what I'd be buying. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, You'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. Is it hanging myself? I bet it's hanging myself. If you found a way out, why haven't you used it yourself? Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. Isn't it kind of unethical to keep all these people trapped in here, knowing there's a way out? I think of it this way. I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not unethical. That's just good business. Now, do you want it or not? How do I know this isn't a scam? If I took your money without giving you what I promised, I'd be breaking the golden rule, wouldn't I? And I have no interest in doing that. 
I'll pass. What's the matter? Can't afford it? Well, perhaps you could take out a loan. I understand Maliolus has lent money to others, on occasion. What do you think about the Golden Rule? I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human, so we drink. Heard any interesting gossip? Certainly. For ten denarii. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you like. I'll be going now. All right. See ya. Yeah, look at that. Lifts his triple head. Let the buyer Let's beware. Out his threefold graying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Garum, a fermented fish sauce used as a condiment. It gives off a faint, salty aroma. A large vat for brewing beer. There's a layer of small insects drowning on the surface. And I didn't care for beer before. More beers. Statue in the window. Rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil. And some marijuana cigarettes? Nope, that's a comb. Key to Aurelia's chest. I think all I need for that is some nice words, right? Just need to do a few more loops to figure out what the right words are. Let's talk to the crazy old lady. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. You, yes. Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water, and the tree you grasp at eludes you. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. What's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. You got some real Simpsons kind of lips from the profile. Fair enough. Do you know a way out of here? There is only a downward path gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. Yeah, I do have a vague memory of some Dwemer ruins. I can't remember if they were related to breaking the curse, but I don't think we're going to find those here. I see. What do you think about the Golden Rule? The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Right. I'll be going now. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Great. A small wooden model of an arena, possibly a Verona arena, which was completed in the first century and is still in use today. In fair Verona, where we lay our scene? Okay. Virgil. You, Tantalus, can you hush. catch the drops of water, and the tree you grasp. I haven't been in here yet. You. More garum? Yep. Wow. An ancient Roman cavalry helmet with an enclosed face mask and plume of dyed horse hair. It's not ancient, though. It's modern. A type of ancient Roman shield known as a scutum. A legionary's banner from First Italica must belong to Horatius. Horatius Hornblower.
My life has been torturous as these seven labors of Hercules, orphaned, defeated, and enslaved, yet I would suffer it all again gladly, because each loss, wound, and tragedy brought me to you. Radiant as Rome's sacred flame, your bright warth, warmth nourishes my soul. I know I can never touch you any more than hold Vesta's flame, but to watch and love you from afar, bathing in your glow, is enough. Nice poem. What are we working on here? Mm, block and tackle? A prototype zip line. Yeah, okay, I can see it. Uh, tension is going to be a problem, but you'll probably work that out yourself. And what I just worked out, after having a glance at my timer, is that we are all out of time for episode two. So come back and see me again in episode three, and we'll have a look at what appears to be a zipline. Talk to you soon.